All right, I've got uh, Emirates Lions um, attack and backline coach Ricardo Lopesha and eighth man um, Franco Horn. We've got about 10 minutes, guys, so I'm recording the session. I don't see any hands, so whoever's ready, we can shoot. Ricardo, I'll start if, if nobody else wants to start. Uh, obviously, if, if you look back at last year, this time, uh, would you have expected uh, that you'd be sitting here this season with a possibility of coming home with three from three? <laughs> yeah, no, obviously, it's a great start for us. Uh, we are really happy with the momentum. Um, two, out of, two out of two so far. And, um, yeah, and I think the, there's a nice buzz in the, the camp. Um, players are really, uh, there's alignment in terms of how we want to play the game. Um, yeah, I think in comparison to, to last season, uh, so we're really happy with, the, with our start. Yeah. What, what would you say is, is a big turn? I know we've spoken about uh, the, the alignment in, in terms, but I mean, there's also a belief, maybe Franco can talk about this, but there's, there seems to be a really good belief in exactly what you guys are doing. Yeah, I think he's the right guy to to, to answer yeah, that question. Uh, hello, Jan. Um, yeah, I think that, um, like I said, that um, two out of two obviously creates a big buzz in the um, in the camp. But he also said there's a lot of alignment, I think, between senior senior members and coaching staff. So I think uh, we have a plan. We're sticking to the plan, and because the result is coming our way, there's no need to to diverge from that plan. So yeah. And Edinburgh, if you look, if you look towards them, I mean, it's, it does not like the challenge is getting any easier. Um, yeah, Edinburgh is a quality side. I mean, they have a lot of international um, players. Uh, they did um, come coming back now from South Africa, maybe travel fatigue, but they're back at home. They're a very tough team to beat at home, so it's going to be a big, big game for us. Um, and trying to end it to on high. In what aspect do you think they'll challenge you most? Yeah, I think the, to maybe to answer that question, they they well balanced out, um, as Franco pointed out. Um, the kicking battle will definitely be a point of difference again. Uh, we said it the last two weeks, and I think this this game will definitely be the same. Um, yeah, and then obviously they bring a lot of line speed. So for us, from an attack point of view, as how are we going to deal with their line speed uh, conditions? Um, according to the weather, it might rain on Friday, so we we have to plan for that. Thank you, Jan. Morgan. Uh, thanks. Uh, hi, coach. It's uh, Morgan from the nice Star. Um, I'm all right. Thanks. Uh, I just, uh, I've got just a couple of questions. Uh, the first one is um, regarding the, the the attack that you've put in place in the back line. Um, <clears throat> it was pretty. I mean, you guys were playing under very difficult conditions on on Friday night, and you're expecting the same conditions again. How do you go about then improving the attack when you are playing? in such, I wouldn't say horrendous, but very difficult conditions. And then secondly, um, uh, regarding um, Jordan uh, and his role, um, uh, it seems like uh, Lombard is, is now the preferred option at number 10. What What is uh, uh, Jordan's future within the team? Yeah, I think maybe to answer your first question is, uh, we knew it's going to be tough uh, because we had a look at the, just the, the weather predictions uh, and it was basically a game we almost want to say we, we, we knew we had to play without a ball. Uh, we had to, and it's an old, an old cliche in terms of playing the right areas. But yeah, the plan was to to put them under pressure without the ball. Um, yeah, in second half, uh, we got a lot of opportunities in their half uh, through our kicking game and obviously on the back of our defense. So yeah, we're happy with the way we game with our attack. And obviously, if, it's, uh, if, it's, if the weather is good, we're definitely going to have a go. And secondly, your, your question on Jordan, yeah, Jordan still has a role to play. Uh, we just feel with the, with the selection now, uh, Gianni at 10, uh, it gives us a lot of momentum, a lot of uh, experience around how we want to play the game. And uh, yeah, he's driving the team, as, uh, whether it's attack or, or defensively. Uh, so really happy with the momentum at the moment. Thanks, Morgs. Ross? How's it, guys? Um, Franco, obviously the last two uh, games, the forward pack has really put in a big shift, you know, against Ospreys and Cardiff now. Um, are you guys pretty happy with the way that you guys are going at the moment and uh, the form that you're currently in? And secondly, um, in terms of the loose trio, I know that you're a bit more experienced in the squad than uh, Emmanuel and um, Subasisu, but uh, how are you settling in with them as a loose trio and how have you found it so far this season? 
Oh, I was, um, yeah, I think uh, the forwards came together after the Bulls game and we felt we we lacked a bit in, in, in the forward department. Um, so coming on to and knowing the conditions, like Coach um, Ricardo said, um, I think we knew we, we had to make a big step up. Um, so obviously there's a lot of confidence within the pack. Um, I think um, kind of the weather for Friday may, may be the same, so we can actually stick to the same plan. Maybe just change a little bit, um, but yeah, a lot of confidence in the pack. And then regarding the loose forward situation, um, me and Cebu has been coming along from I think 2019 at SNA 20s, so we kn we know each other quite well. And then last year I played a lot with Manu, um, so I think there's a there's a good understanding between the three of us. Um, obviously, like you said, not a lot of experience, but. That, that that gives us something new um, um, to bring to the team. Thanks, Ross. Smoo? How's it, Yanni? So thanks very much. My questions for Coach Ricky. I got two actually. I'll start with uh, one uh, one um, on Sanel and Oamba. Um, you know, as, as mentioned earlier, he's dovetailed quite well with Gianni Lombard. But I just want to know in terms of his mental uh, space, uh, his confidence. Um, how have you guys managed to turn him around from what was looked like a pretty low confidence uh, period that the Sharks wasn't playing, dropped out of Springbok contention? And do you see him competing now for a place back in the box squad? I know he's not a test cap player, but do you see him competing back in that in that fold? Yeah, I, I think the, the big thing with Sanele is just to get game time. I had a good chat with him this morning. He's really in a good space. Um, he understands the game in terms of game management. Um, yeah, the way the way our nines and tens they're going at the moment, so we're really happy with them. And yeah, I think maybe in terms of Springbok selection, I don't think that will be his focus. The big thing for for him now is just to focus on playing well, putting in good performances uh, week in and week out. And my my second question is just about um, the overall start of South African teams in the URC last year. After you guys beat Zebra, it took quite a few weeks for South African teams to get wins. It was overseas, it was COVID bubbles and stuff like that, and it was a first competition. How do you think things have changed this time around uh, to not having lost to European teams yet um, after after three rounds, which is a dramatic change from last year? The, the main point of difference is probably the, the, the way the refs interpret the game. And secondly, is the conditions. Uh, I think we got a better understanding how to deal with the with the weather on this side. Uh, you have to have a wet wet plan and a dry plan uh, per se. And uh, I think on a day, it's all about just uh, the the ability to adapt, um, to whether it's raining or not. But I think from a playing point of point of view, the players understand how to deal with um, yeah different game plans because you 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 get challenged uh, every week in a different way when you play these teams. Thanks, Will. Morgan, is your hand up? Uh, yes, thanks. I uh, just want to uh, thank you. Um, just a general injury update and how Edwell is doing. Will he be available for the, this weekend? Yeah, I think the, yeah, I was unlucky to, to lose him um, in the game uh, versus Cardiff. But um, at the moment, the, just the doc will look after him in terms of uh, medical assessments. And yeah, then we'll make a call. Um, if he's not good, good to go, then we might have to look at someone else. Um, yeah. Uh, any other injury concerns? No. Uh, yeah, nothing from our side. Thanks. Happy mm -hmm. days. Thanks so much, Morgan. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your time. Okay. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Cheers.